welcome everybody on this occasion of Occupational Health Day. I welcome our uh, very senior uh, public health specialist and uh, specialist on other discipline. I just want to say that uh, you must be feeling they say public health people or community medicine people. It's not true. Here you have very senior surgeons. We have uh, physicians. We have public health specialists because the discipline which cater the occupational health is not only just a domain of public health, but I think everybody is involved. So it's a very uh, proud movement for uh, Department of Community Medicine and also the Vardman Mahavin Medical College that we have host this uh, very special day of occupational health. I welcome Dr. Shiv Lal. Uh, he is a dyne or a pioneer of, uh, you can say, public health in India. Uh, if I speak few words, it's not enough, but I can say that he is the special DZ of uh, Government of India, uh, was a former uh, special DZ, and he has looked after the National uh, Center for Disease Control, uh, one of the leading institution in public health, and uh, he is the one who has started IDSP. You must be reading and I think uh, you must be uh, having the examination in which the IDSP, the Integrated Disease Surveillance Project or a program has been. And also the, <coughs> uh, you know, uh, the uh, Enhanced Malaria Control Program. He's the one who has started in India. So uh, we have people uh, like Dr. Shiv Lal, we have Dr. Brahm Prakash, who, ha who is a pediatrician and uh, moved to railway and then uh, hold various positions in a very higher position. So I welcome you, sir for this day. We have Dr. Sarvade, uh, again public health specialist and work in UNICEF for a long period and now he is the vice president of our Indian Association of Adults and Health. I welcome you sir for this occasion. We have uh, Sunil Kapoor, a CMD of non Northern Railway. Actually you know that uh, railway is a separate ministry and uh, it is the biggest uh, which used to have a separate budget also. So India when we say railway is uh, a, a, a very big thing. So uh, holding the higher position and we are proud that he is here. We welcome you sir for this occasion. We have uh, Chandra Tirpati. She is uh, Vice President of IAOH. Uh, I welcome you ma'am. Now uh, what uh, is required to be understood here that uh, this is the day where we just focus on uh, occupational health but when uh, it came to us that should you organize this day in uh, Vardhaman Mahavir Medical College. I accepted this because of one reason, because it's deal with the informal sector. Now you must be thinking that why we have to talk about this occupational health of informal sector uh, and doctors, we, why we should talk about it. I'll tell you that, you know, uh, if we have the 100% population, the more than 50% of the population is actually working and they are the producing whatever the development we see in the country and the world actually these are the people who are looking after and in India out of this total working population the 90 to 95 percent of the actually population working in non-formal and informal sector so a huge population which is doing something for us and we are doing nothing that's what we want to say as a doctor, what we have programmed, as a government, do we have any schemes? You know, that is why action, you know, is required. Some kind of action is required in this area. So uh, we are fortunate that this program has been, you know, uh, initiated. And we have very few number of speakers because the time is only just two hours. Uh, we have one person, uh, you know, directly working in, uh, in the field. She, she has worked PhD thesis in e-waste management. Uh, the worker working, all of you must be working on the computer and when you throw it, where it goes, how it affects the environment and people, you know, that's all is important. Then we have person, uh, Dr. Ranabir is there, uh, he's working in ESI hospital. Again, a big, you know, uh, social scheme of the government who is looking after the formal sector. And we want to ask him, what are the schemes now government is planning for this non-formal 
and whatever they do is less. I think if they start today, maybe I think another 20 years is required to handle the whole informal sector. And uh, you know what is informal sector? I think the all big people are going to talk about this, what is informal, what kind of work and problem are there. So it's a very uh, important aspect of us that how we can orient ourselves to handle you know how much problem we are facing every day in our clinic and hospital you know can be handled by us just by simple orientation of the problem whether it is ergonomic or maybe some kind of exposure can be a respiratory cardiovascular you know name any kind of disease which is not linked with this uh, work which is there all around so uh, it's, it's a very great day we all uh, are grateful to uh, everybody i welcome you my all other colleague we have the department of forensic medicine microbiology anatomy all people are there our students are there we have the you know people from uh, you know nihfw we have in from molana jad medical college and other uh, uh, other medical college also uh, come together we have people from iah iph iepha indian public health association members are also there i welcome you all you know whatever is a small period we have fixed for us to discuss is to uh, discuss each other and learn uh, how next, how best we can do in the next uh, coming time. So I welcome you everybody. Thank you very much.